Today, on a very special episode of Predator Concrete Jungle, the Predator is going to try his best to stage an intervention for the dead men. Essentially, he is going to use all of his therapeutic knowledge that he has, and he's going to try to cure them of their drug addictions by CUTTING THEIR HEADS OFF! Yes, we are going on to Sanctuary where we're going to kill all the dead men within. That kind of rhymes, doesn't it? Yes, this is a boss fight with three bosses. They're not that difficult, but they are annoying, I will say that. Wow, that's a pretty horrible animation right there, just moving up and down. This is going to be one of the most pretentious places the Predator's ever been in. I don't think we're going to find the strongest prey in here, just saying. And this is just a dingy and of idiots. Yeah, who are we going to, who are we going to kill? This guy? I guess we are, because I, I was supposed to be the target button. Oops. Oh well. Now, let's see, what are we gonna do? First, we got a cloak. I will say this game, despite its camera controls, is vastly better than AVP3. Especially since AVP3, you couldn't even... T you can't, you could you could not tell what you were doing in AVP3. At all. Okay, now we got the bosses, they just sort of I jumped. Hear I hear you, with bad voice acting. Where the hell do you go? And time to smack me smack and miss and forget the controls despite the fact that I'm recording this right after the previous episode there he is Must die. why does my extremely advanced spear gun not hurt anybody come on kick and punch okay you know what I'm gonna do I can backflip too the hell are they fighting each other why do I not have my wrist blades Equipped. Get back here. <laughs> wow, there's a double. Come on, got him. Come on, Wolverine wannabe. So you kind of have to have the healing factor on with the claws. Don't dodge out of my. I'm c I'm chasing you down, even if I can't see what's going on. Back here, you bastard. There you are. Hit harder, huh? Okay. You're going to die. I thought dead men wanted to die, so why don't you just, you know, let me slice your head off? Well, I don't like where this is going. Oh, good, he's dead. Very good. Uh, let's see, there's a couple of energy boxes scattered around, so guess what I got to do? I feel like shooting something. Why does my plasma caster? Why, why do the plasma casters never work in any of these? In any game with a predator, the plasma caster is useless. Why do regular guns work better than a bloody plasma caster? I just don't get it. You think this is Star Wars or something? Okay, before we fight anymore, I want my bloody energy back. Although it will be decloaked for a few seconds at least. And that's another thing. Why in Predator 2 did we have to have that scene with the lightning? There's a scene in Predator 2 for those who haven't seen it, well they really should have seen it by this point, where literally the Predator stands on top of a building with a spinal column and skull in his hand, growls at the sky, Oh, yeah, that's it. oh no, I didn't mean to do that! Ah. Uh. Now that left me not only open for another shot, but also wasted a good energy. Come on, jump, jump. Ah! Jumped out of the window. And we also missed a good sword fight in that because uh, Bill Paxton's character took out a sword that he got off of a criminal. And of course, it cut away to just him going, Arg. I'd like to have seen a fight. Hey, I am trying hard. I'm just wasting time. Okay, you know what I gotta do? Video game cruelty potential incoming. You know, idiots, your music sucks! You suck at life. Oh, I'm out of spears. I wasn't able to murder the entire band. 
Wow, they're actually gonna try to punch me. I had to make this battle a little more interesting. Come on, bosses, where are you? You know you want to try to stab me with your long fingernails. Yeah, I'm not. I'm gonna. I'm gonna save the decapitation for a little bit later. Come on. You know I'm gonna kill you, and you know you're gonna die. So why don't we just cut out the middleman, and you just not try to fight back? Come on, stab him, and he's almost dead. And now he's so wounded he has to assume that position. Well, that didn't sound very good. Thankfully, in the next level, I finally get another bladed weapon that will actually be good. Too bad in that level, uh, the bladed weapon's useless. You have to use a blunt weapon on the boss. Well, way to do, way to do a poor job, AI. Come on, stab him. I remember the first- Oh, not again! Uh, I am targeting you. God. Okay, you're the first one to get stabbed. Although, how they're even still conscious, I don't know. Let's actually scan one of these guys, just so you can... So we can see what he is made of here. Let's see... He's highly resistant to blunt melee attacks, and resistant to edge melee attacks. Well, he wasn't that resistant. And how do combat drugs make you resistant to that? Just because you don't feel the pain if your arm gets cut off, it's still cut off. He's an enforcer, he's got mind-altering narcotics that apparently alter his skin. And cybernetic limb augmentation. I see this makes more sense. So he does have arm blades. Cybernetic drug injector. Doing drugs directly to the user's bloodstream. Hyper alloy. He's technically a terminator. And stab. I still like how in AVP VT or Aliens vs Predator vs the Terminator that the Predator just literally massacres a regular Terminator like with ease. Shoots him with a plasma bolt and then cuts his head off. One by one, they fell before it. And the city rejoiced as crime went down considerably. Except the fleas could actually hurt you more than just annoy you. A grand design of kill everything and then kill the big boss. That's that's a grand design, all right. That how did he know that? I guess because the beacons, but still. Where'd he go? Also, how, how, how do the lights work? I want to know that they don't last a hundred years. Arg! Ah well, we'll just let it go. I think after this next mission, or mission doublet, I think we will change the costume. I'll have to actually look up the voting video results because it's been a while since I've actually looked at them, and then we'll change, change it. I think it's, I think it was the city hunter. That was the second favorite. It wasn't Dark Blade. I don't remember. But we're continuing to the next chapter anyway. Chapter 4.0. The Giovanni Family Compound. It's time to take down the mob. Marlon Brando won't stand a chance. And of course, since this is the future, these guys have flying cars, but... The early enemies did not. Listen up! There's blood on the sidewalks and we got the mob on its knees. How? I say we go up there to the Don's place and we finish the job right here and now. Death to the Don! I still find it amazing that police get to ignore even that. I mean, come on. Eh, well. It's an evil city of crime. I'm wondering if it's supposed to be like some sort of separate state in this universe. And those are some big guns that look very impractical. I do like this whole reference to uh, the Godfather. I couldn't remember the name. I almost said Scarface, but this is not a reference to Scarface. And let's hope I don't lose because I I don't think you can skip through this cutscene, which is very annoying.
Although we haven't actually fought the Mafia at all, so we're just sort of cutting to the chase and not just fighting through random gang members. Okay, so this is an early stealth mission. Fun, right? There are traps everywhere. There are guns everywhere. Yeah, we have to we have to grab these guys and shut down the security defenses with them. I do find it funny how in this universe crime doesn't even attempt to disguise itself as anything other than just, well, crime. And see, this is easy cuz all we have to do is jump over that. These are actually EMP mines. And uh, jump! Okay, that was easy, but the other ones are obviously much more difficult. There you are. Punchy, punchy, punch, punch, grab. I will admit that just cutting off uh, some random guy's head and then shoving it onto a retinal scanner was pretty cool. But I still prefer this game. And why did that decoak me? How do I... And I'll just smack him into the ground. I was going to kick him off the island, but oh well. Okay. Now, let's see. Deactivate that. You have to go up there. Should I kill these guys? Absolutely not. Well, you know what? Punchy punch punch. Come on, can I hit him? Can I, I was going to try to come on, kick it. I really should not have wasted my time on these guys. Am I, am I decloaked? No, I'm not. I killed two of you! I let the rest of you live. For now. Do I need health? No, I still got three healing charges. Okay, everything shut down. I am really... Uh, come on, precision platforming! Oh, precision platforming! Well, I probably shouldn't have said that. Jump! Where are you? I'm punching you. Technically, I've only killed like four guys at this point. Those kind of look like alien heads, almost. What the fuck is that? Ah, uh, here is Marley Brando. When the prey fight amongst themselves, the cunning hunter will turn the situation to his own advantage. The battle machine that one day had stolen from the police would make a useful battering ram to smash a way into the Don's mansion, provided the defenders did not destroy it first. Unknown to the machine's you... plan, the Guardian now watched over the progress. And you gotta admit, ladies and gentlemen, that's pretty dumb. Oh, fuck. Give me the hell out of this shit. I'm an elderly man, and a big fight's on TV in five minutes. We know how it ends. Gianelli takes a dive in the second. We well, didn't have any lip movements at all. And also, you gotta ask yourself why is there even TV in this future since it's supposed to be more advanced than our future? Uh, let's probably get some more energy, shouldn't I? And also, okay, I gotta complain about the mech. What the hell? Why is there a big open area on at the front where the pilot is. I know it's refitted from like... Okay, I don't care. Run! 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 I still find it annoying. I have to... Hey, it almost looks like a Halo uh, rocket launcher. Okay. I hate how it unequips my bloody wrist blades. I need those. You know, to kill things. There is a weapon that you can get on this level. I think it's a upgraded plasma caster. I, of course, already have it. At least I think I do. Maybe. It's somewhere over here. Something on the roof. Uh, yeah, I think I already got it, actually. Oh, yeah, you can climb up onto the roof. Woo. So I did already get it. I could. I'm, I find it funny I can still kill that if I wanted to. Power to the other criminals and stab. Why can't you people hit anything? 
It's an open target right there. <laughs> it's so stupid. And of course, we're not going to end the episode here because we're going to go fight the final boss with uh, Marlon Brando. It'd be kind of awesome if, like, Marlon Brando there just jumped in this giant battle mech and just started tearing stuff up. I would like to see that, actually, but it's a lot less epic. A lot less epic. Although, th th this level does beg the question of just how much does the Predator know about humanity? It obviously has to know some, because when, when you scan, like, the, the glaive, which is actually what we're about to get, it says that this Mafia Don got it from uh, online. So, what, did the Predator literally get all on the internet, Google alien glaive, and then just <laughs> figure out that this is the guy who bought it? I find the concept of the Predator using Google absolutely hilarious. I'm not really sure why. Okay, we gotta go kill Brando first. Okay, Marlin. I'm gonna make you an offer you can't refuse. The offer is this. I kill you, and you die! See? It was a good deal, I thought. And it's time to start slicing everybody up with this awesome glaive. Too bad they already dead. And my ally of convenience that I didn't really need, you are now obsolete. Oh yeah, I can't actually kill it that way, can I? I have to like stab it or something. Too bad the camera just went crazy. And of course I'm standing right in front of the giant mech. You know what? I'm just shooting you. How are you surviving all those shots? Okay, jump away, jump away, idiot, jump away, jump away, come on. How, I ask, do humans survive being shot multiple times in the plasma caster in the face? I don't think I'll be able to kill it with my plasma caster, of course. I want... I would like to be able to shoot somebody with a plasma caster, but I don't think I'll be able to. And I'm literally gonna hide back here and actually use one of my healing charges. I'm actually pretty hurt. Okay, re-cloak. Kill a couple of basics. I, of course, do have the upgraded glaive, thankfully. Oh, did the bloody thing already die yet? No, I didn't. Of course, I have one right in front of it. Stop running in front of it, damn it! Why, why does the Mafia Don have a healing charge in one of his display cases? Could somebody explain that to me? That did absolutely nothing. Well, that's a lot of them. I do love a target-rich environment. Of course, they all turn to shoot at me. Okay. Now, I could let them kill each other, but I won't. You're right, I am. Because it's fun. Okay, so how exactly am I going to go about kill- Oh, it's already dead. Thank God. Okay, now. This guy's the boss. And I'll try to scan him without getting killed. Actually, I'm not going to bother. Okay. Essentially, he's got a shield that somehow protects him from plasma and uh, edged melee weapon. So basically all you gotta do is, just like with any other, with uh, that King Willy boss, just smack him with a stick. And as you can see, you can easily beat him up. Look at that. That's contemptuously easy. Okay, and I, gu I guess it is more advanced than other bosses in that you have to actually know how to hurt him. But still, he's pretty bloody easy. And he's dead. Not even really worth a trophy, because just because he... Why is the level ending? Why is the level ending? Oh, I guess I have to kill those final two guys. Okay, this guy's got to be executed. Come on. Come on. And you don't have an, a throat anymore. Okay, he's dead! There we go. And as you would expect, the Predator hangs him out there. And crime goes down AGAIN! Some sort of psycho vigilante killer. It's saving the city from crime! 
We would love to know who this great hero is, but alas, we do not. Okay, let's check the level, see how many levels are left, and see if we can't change the costume here. Uh, let's see, Death of the Family. Now I've got Under the Gun, Skin Trade, Machine Man, blah 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 blah. That's a lot. That's a lot. Uh, let's see, so how many levels have we done? Have we had this? Okay, so it's one, two, three, four, five, six levels. Uh, I think we'll keep this costume for now. Probably change it uh, when we do un after. I think after Under the Gun we'll change the costume. So, in any event, this is General Lots signing off.